Hey, what's up folks? Today I'll be reacting to another ABBA Preach video. This is called I'm Kinda Like R. Kelly. I have no idea what to expect, but let's jump into Today's it. topic. Ready? Yeah. I don't believe R. Kelly's a predator. So That's how the video starts. Something tells me this guy is delusional in denial and has a lot of skeletons in his own closet. He's going to use R. Kelly's story to justify his misogyny and discussing points of view. Shut it down, we're good. <laughs> yes, he is. Next video. <laughs> cool. I I'm glad that we got that cleared out. Yes, all yes, the yes. shit, all the stories that have come out about R. Kelly over the past twenty years, all the evidence that we've seen and like on video, like him doing what he did with that younger, like for you to say, I don't believe R. Kelly. Then, bro, what's your definition of a predator? I think he has an appetite. Nasty <laughs> motherfucker. Are you serious? It's gonna get good. Oh yeah. Uh I I. At, at best, he's joking. Oh, uh, no. I feel that R. Kelly pissed off the wrong person. I don't know what he did, but he pissed off the wrong person. Here we go with these conspiracy theories. Very good choice of words. He pissed off the wrong person. Anytime a celebrity gets held accountable, since those times are so few and far between, when it happens, people want to jump to conspiracy theory. He pissed off the wrong person. They pissed off the wrong person in power. Yo, this person was in power. What are you talking about? He was one of those people. I think the big problem is that he pissed on the wrong person. I was just thinking the same <laughs> thing, but I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I think he pissed on the wrong person. If y'all know the story, if y'all know the story. I think that's the problem. And that launched this investigation. I am a little sympathetic to r kelly i know that sounds really really crazy oh Yo, you're like in your mid 40s either this is just a this guy's a i don't even know let me but just, hear me out i don't even want to hear you out bro i guess i need to start with what i've done that would help you nasty low down dirty mother Like I said, he's gonna use R. Kelly's story to justify his own actions and beliefs. Horrendous actions and beliefs. Let me just say this. If you guys are faint of heart or if this kind of stuff makes you uncomfortable, stop watching right now. It's about to get weird. Loki, that's responsible on Abba's part. He's, he's really growing because he didn't use the term like trigger warning, but he did give people a heads up, you know, because it is the case that a lot of people, and it often goes unreported, were and are victims of that kind of, you know, assault, that kind of abuse. So I think it's good that Abba was like, yo, if y'all might not be able to stomach this, then you might wanna, when I was doing my Craigslist protocols, hot and heavy, I would get a ton, I mean, a ton of high school girls answering my ads. Man, no. Man, no. They serve some eyes, bro. They serve some fucking eyes. Put me sir on cam. It's broadcast. Right, right. right. That's what I'm saying. Demande pourquoi like. R. Kelly s'est fait pogner. Toi, dans ta tête, tu t'es dit ça faisait du sens. Tu t'es dit, hey, je vais me filmer. Puis je vais, je vais, je vais, je vais. Je vais juste. Délater ma propre tête. C'est ça? C'est ça, là. C'est ça qu'on vit, là. C'est ça, ça que t'es en train de me dire, là. On est en train de vivre un doute qui se délate là. Le panneau a dit. Does he know that he's exposed? It? Like, does he even? Cause this dude seems brain dead. Secondaire. 
We're about to find out. Yeah. they fucked up. And typically, I ignored them. Because typically, but not all the time. Bro, first and foremost, like, one, I don't believe that, that high school girls, and two, if that's the case, that they're answering your ads, check their IDs before you get with them. Ask for hard proof that they are the age that they claim to be. Even though I have a similar appetite to R. Kelly. Whoa. Bro, and then you're going to discredit and cause suspicion on yourself by saying this dude doesn't know his ass from a hole in the wall you know this is a youtuber with like over 150k subs he's certain guys all right let's find out i like young women but i don't like children but this is how a child tricked me man no man no this video keeps getting worse look, look, look. this video keeps getting worse look, look. this video is really disturbing it was her you, fault you put the basically is what he's saying guys you need to put a disclaimer i've cut out some parts that would make you super queasy but i'm warning you there may still be some portions here that'll make you uneasy the original video was filthy and i've seen some weird shit in my life is it so on on the web was when I downloaded it. Look at the bottom of the corner. <laughs> this is how a child tricked me. Typically, they would be young. There would there would be lots of signs that this girl was very very young. And I would just and you didn't pick up on, on any of those. As a grown man, there were signs. There were multiple signs, but she tricked me. I have an appetite for the same girls that R. Kelly has an appetite for, but she tricked me. I, dude. Norm. Then this one girl, she answered that. We started to talk, and she was an exceptionally mature 17 year old. Let me say this again this chick was 17. Her conversation was different. She actually was a hairdresser. And she was 17. She was a hairdresser. Nigga, she made braids. <laughs> and oh my God, On she the had suit. these amazingly On firm the double D. That should have been my clue. One of the things that I, could, I would do is I would do social media search on all my chicks just out of curiosity. So I'm like doing my social media. On all my chicks. So that's how you could tell he just looks at them as a stable of livestock, basically. Search and I find the way that he's, I would do social media searches on all my chicks, on all my women. Facebook page and I see her with her high school friends. And I'm like, oh shit. So I call her up. And I asked her, because, you know, she told me she was 21. That's what she told me. And you cannot unfuck a chick. You can't unfuck her. And I was like, I need you to tell me something. How old are you? And then she got very silent and she said, I'll be 18 in four months. Then she also said the age of consent in Georgia is 16, so you're good. She was everything that I liked. It's 16 if you are, it's 16 if, if you're you like are 19 or 20, right? 15 months, 15 months so over. It, it right? depends. It, it probably does depend. Depends. It depends. Some yeah. places just like it's full. 16, okay. Some people it's a catch age. Yeah. So within three years, yeah. whatever. Mm. But I don't know about Georgia, me. but I think a catch age makes sense. The fact that you a 30 year old man and talking to high schoolers is super suspect. You know, if right. you're like 19 and you date in a 17 year old, or if you are 17 and you're dating a uh, 20 year old, I think it makes sense. Boys, I digress, let's keep going. And you know what I kept doing? I kept fucking her. But okay. if you're like 25 or 30 or 40 and you're dating like a 16, 17 year old shit, like bro. So what? So this is the, what is the, 
C'est exactement ça. J'aurais pu faire. He said I kept I... She lied. Tu savais, là, tu sais, là. Non, he knew. Because you know what he said. You can't unfuck a girl. At this point, I fucked her 15 times. The crime was done. So I just kept fucking her from she was 17 to 22. R. Kelly and I are similar, but we're very different. Because I have safeguards. I know when I'm getting out of control. You're getting out of control when you post it on the web. Yeah, you I'm manipulative and deceptive. That's basically what he's saying. Like, I know how to cover my tracks. You really don't have safeguards. The fact that you thought it was a good idea to pose this proves how stupid it is. But let's keep going. And this is how a lot of young girls end up with older dudes. Their parents are not heavily involved in their lives. Where they have the And you exploit that because you are a predator. Time and the freedom to By get away definition. with this stuff. And her parents didn't check her. She go out, she spend the night out. Her parents were like, you know, she came home alive, cool. Her parents were not on her. So I didn't have to worry about catching a charge from the parents. R. Kelly is being portrayed as a predator, right? Did he hold the a way gun? he keeps putting those quotations like to these women's heads? No, he put them in fucking dungeons and held them hostage. What are you smoking? What the fuck is this guy on, bruh? What are some of you on? R. Kelly is clearly guilty of what he did. Any dude who hangs outside of high schools to go pick up his next woman when you were a grown 30 year old man is fucking weird to me. Yeah. Fucking weird for you to just be hanging around high schools waiting for these girls to get off. That's sus, bro. Even if it's not illegal in some places, it's fucking strange. And R. Kelly, beyond hanging outside of schools, literally kept some of these women in rooms and locked them there and made them do stuff. Like, <laughs> what are you niggas smoking? And there is something special about fucking a chick who doesn't have a lot of sexual experience. Because everything you do to her is fun. It's all brand new. And if you've got that type of appetite, it can be insatiable. Appetite. This is the reason that I never got caught because I never brought anyone else into my circus, so to speak. You can already tell that even though this guy says he did nothing wrong. He uses words like, I never got caught. I didn't bring other people in on my gig. Appetite. This is why I'll so never you, be stopped. So, so even know. in your head, you feel, you understand the implications of what it is that you're doing. You understand. And even the words that he uses, it's like, you can tell that sex for him is not very reciprocal. He talks about appetite and insatiable. It's almost like gluttony, like you're consuming things. Kind of like you know, a lion does a gazelle. Who does that? Huh. A predator. Yeah. Remember when I started this video and I told you I had all these high school girls answering my Craigslist ads? Did I have a gun to their head? Did I ask them to answer, reply to my ads? They were searching this out. So By that logic, you could go ahead and sell drugs to kids. Yeah. Hand it to a 15 year old, 13 year old. They were year old. searching it out. They went and sought this out. The reason why we don't allow these young folks to seek it out, because generally we put a stop gap and we say, beyond this age, you're not responsible enough to make these decisions for yourself. Now, maybe you feel like there's a bit of nuance. Maybe the age shouldn't be- No, eight. below this age, but beyond the age, we make the assumption that you're not a, you know, there are levels of your stupidity. So to a large extent, you're gonna have good enough judgment to, you know, make up for the lack of judgment that a child has. 18, it should be 17, it should be 19. Who knows? But if your defense is they asked, so I gave it to them, nigga, you're going to jail. Could you imagine justifying some drugs to kids by saying I didn't have, they a, gun. Asked I didn't have a gun to the head? What is you talking about? So this is why I have a problem with the predator label. Because they were willing participants in the dynamic. Essentially, I conducted my fuckery in the safe zone. I did stuff I knew I could get away with. So because you can get away with it, it's okay. You know what? 
you for 20 it, plus yeah. years, R. Kelly got away with it too you until he did bu- it. You bugging. I will tell you, man, you post this stuff online, don't be surprised if you get some calls. You bugging. Like there was this one girl and uh, she was super cute. And then I did uh, my research on her and saw her pictures of her with her mom and dad, which means her parents were very much involved in her life. And that right there would have been the danger zone because so you're seeking out vulnerable people. you're a predator with you're little a predator. to no supervision or care or love i am not a killer but if i look at someone and i'm able to puncture them with my knife and they end up dying they didn't have to die you're a killer so this is interesting what well, is i like words yes you do so for prey to take advantage of exploit or injure so when he talks about these young women not having their parents super in their life he's seeing a vulnerability and that what he, he does is he understands that and take advantage the time of. to go when they, the parents are not present they're vulnerable they are malleable therefore they are accessible and there's no danger to myself they are vulnerable therefore he preys on them right that's what it means to prey on somebody that's what predators do right they're higher up generally on the food chain and they understand the other ones are weaker and so they go for them you are by definition of the word predator and this is not even an age thing her parents are not in her life she's isolated from people i'm gonna slide right in that's fucking strange and he's just trying to gaslight you into thinking that he's not a predator that's pretty much what it is fair fair because this is how it happens she comes over we fuck she goes home, her mom and dad press her. He's like, I fucked this old man. And next thing you know, mom and dad call the police. Police knocking at your door. That's how that goes down. So I never put myself in the crosshairs of the danger zone. You did now. You did now, stupid. Young can be fucking amazing. I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. That's why I was able to do this stuff and get away with it. Because I'm a nobody. What's 9 plus 10? She's not 21. You stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not. You stupid. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, the original Bruh, video is way is more foul. Dark. It talks Thank- about like taking the, some of these young women's virginity as an old man. He talks about like smashing a mom and then having her daughters afterward. Like it's oh. disgusting. 15, 16 year olds. Like he goes into some details. I was just like, it's very great. It's like nasty. And I edited it out because it's a little bit too much. If you guys want to go find it, I'm sure you're going to be able to, but good Lord. That did. There, there are people like this out there. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes they're stupid enough to out themselves. But it comes with some certain, certain kind of, you know, you didn't get caught, so. Yeah, a I kind was, of arrogance. So I'm not saying age more differences more. are inherently bad, but if you're hanging outside of high schools, guys, you got to start to ask yourself questions. You got to start to ask yourself some questions. If they're underage, got to start asking yourself some questions. Mm. That's weird. And this man's got weird intentions. Sorry, but if you want to find a young woman who doesn't have a good relationship with her parents, that's the fucking strangest shit I ever heard. That's, that's nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. That's oh, I'm looking for a woman who's a drug addict. That's fucking weird. Yes. Oh, I'm looking for a guy who just got out of a divorce recently and heartbroken. That's <clears throat> fucking weird. Yeah, I don't know if weird. It's, it is weird, but it's alarming. It's unsettling. There is a suspicion I attach to people who have that mindset as they go into dating. Like you can't get people on your level. You can't get people with your level of experience, your level of, so you want to go after young, younger people that don't have good judgment, that are probably low in self-esteem, lack confidence, don't have the right parental guidance or supervision. You try to fill that vacuum by offering them something. So I, I wouldn't even be surprised if the women that he reaches out to are also like financially unstable, right? You're looking for people when they're at their lowest so you can fuck with them? That's nasty. Evil, yeah. man. But there's people like that out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yes. And it's not even just sex. It's also scamming. People go after widowers all the time with scams. 
people prey on vulnerable people in not just sexual ways, but in financial ways mm -hmm. and all kinds of ways. So, I don't know. That's how people end up in a lot of abusive situations. Yeah. They're isolated from other people, and then the wrong person comes along and smells their vulnerability and locks them in those situations. So, all this to say, be mindful of folks like this. Um, and yeah, like you heard him say, man, parents, be in your kids' lives. <laughs> be in your kids' lives. Because people are looking for parents that are not present. Apparently. Your, your, your kids you got it. social media? You, you your heard kids it. got social media? Uh, be very mindful. I'm not saying micromanage that shit, but be present. Check in. You heard it from the, the, yeah. the, the predator himself. Yeah. They're telling you this themselves. So, anyways, let us know what you guys think in the. Yeah. And also, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.